August and October. October. They might be moving Sharday out of ICU tonight if a bed is available on the regular floor. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. All because. You may be seated all because of a saved mother. Amen. How you get hit with a truck? Get hit with a truck. Find find the body on the highway. And you probably get moved out of ICU. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Without a saved and sanctified mother, we we we, we would have did a wake and a funeral by now. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. So we have one more day. Remember, we don't we don't do Halloween. If you want to dress up, dress up as a saint. <laughs> Keep that outfit on. Right. Amen. Permanently. <laughs> Amen. Uh, you already been tricked. <laughs> the treaty is God has had mercy on us. That's it. Amen. Don't dress up. Amen. Dress up as a saint. <laughs> Amen. If you want to be scared. If you, if you, if you, uh, you've been irresponsible as a man, dress up as a husband for one day. <laughs> Pay a bill. Pay a bill just one day. I don't care if it's the world hell. Pay a bill. Dress up as a wife. Cook something. <laughs> Generation cute. You can't cook. <laughs> if twerking was cooking, yeah. but it ain't. A couple of y'all can cook. Some y'all twerk and cook. Excellent. As long as you're a wife. <laughs> Amen. Oh, let's see here. Uh, turn to Second Samuel um, because we're talking about husbands. We're talking about this, which is part of the menorah. That, this is here, the menorah. They don't give me something to look at this. This ain't nothing I pulled off of Facebook either, so don't. This ain't no YouTube message, church. Thank God. But the menorah was a light in the tabernacle that never went out. Amen. Nobody has the right to put your internal light out. Amen. I thought this family despised that. That's the menorah right there. Oh, there's that. Yeah, see that. And so the menorah 
is the outer part. You got the, you got the, the three sets of twos that simply observe. James Taylor had a song, the same mass choir gospel, but James Taylor had a song. Whenever I see your smiling face. Half the crown of the Huh? Yeah. Now, I don't think he's talking about a sister. I ain't trying to race bait, but. We know that. Amen. We know Whenever that. I see your smiling face. Yeah, great song. Amen. Great song. Yes, it is. When folk had to really know how to sing. Yep. Amen. So you got the, the, the three sets of twos. If your face is constructed any other way, go see a doctor immediately. All right. <laughs> Tonight, book it. On the outside are the eyes. Okay. So we're gonna get deep on this before we go into the, the husband, uh, the priest. Uh, because if a priest lacks vision, he can never move his family. Okay? So the, the fancy version of Hebrew is, after you have seen what you've seen, heard what you've heard, smelled what you have smelled, which is intuition, can your mouth put all that together, all those observations, and express it? Okay? This is a whole source of the key to blessing. All right? Uh, and watch this out. Not just your income tax come in. Uh, I will bless the Lord at all times. That, that word all will catch everybody. Okay? I saw the ball player, Trey Young, he just killing the league. All right? And then his team lost. I'm like, okay, Trey Young must have got hurt or whatever. I think he had a tremendous ankle sprain. And he put on Twitter, I have to thank the man upstairs for the good and the bad. Now, he's been blowing up the league, all right? right. Unguarded. One time he shot a move from the half court. And, but then he got hurt yesterday. And <laughs> see, see, the problem with the apostolic church, apostolic, Pentecostal, firebrand, Lutheran, Methodist, whatever, <laughs> is that you don't have enough. Some people are hungry. Like I told you, I'm, I'm against the professional Christians that are down in Kanye. Kanye was an imbecile. He got off base. He was losing his mind. Okay? When, he, when you saw him in office with Trump, his mind was gone. <laughs> All right? <laughs> and, and people, yeah. opportunists, I call it an anchor, she ain't gonna sue me, like Paula White, who just moves and flow with the wind. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have to live in San Antonio and know her story. Okay? Uh, but but he finally got on track from what I heard back to Menorah that song Jesus is King you hear his soul cry out well if he can't repent then you can't repent that's right, that's right. and how y'all been on track some of y'all was off track ain't never left the church all right <laughs> uh -huh. so I mean you give a man a chance to get up okay that's it hey man get up get up get up right uh, so, so, so back to this. So, after you have heard what you've heard, and your intuition, can your mouth express it? Uh, no way in the world the Holy Ghost will cause husband and wife, even single person, husband and wife, to wake up with harsh words. You know, Holy Ghost told you get nobody told. You big nose half of you. you. <laughs> I just notice your ears don't match. Okay? No, nobody, nobody, no Holy Ghost tells you to get up and have harsh words. Smart words. Okay? If you're single, one of my daughters is on the cusp of a multi-million dollar business. Is having to go back to a resource. See, some of y'all don't show up at your job, you do your Evo, you then you pull a race car, you're supposed to be there at 9.30, you show up at 10. Look, I don't care what color you are, you're going to get fired. You don't put a race card. They prejudice. First of all, you're there to make money. Money green. Okay? That's you right. can't be working at 9.30, you show up at 10.45. Put, put your race card back in your unemployed pocket. Right, right. But she's going to have to tap into a resource. 
Because she's an excellent job with this doctor, and she's ran to a snag in her multi-million, multi-million dollar business. So, so someone said, well, go ask him. He's going to help her because of how she served him. Amen. It's called reciprocation. All right. I had, I had breakfast day with Jay Rosen, who God allowed to be a multi-millionaire just to help me. That's right. Now everything is switched. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. He had the big house. He had four homes, whatever. It was all, all, most of, now I got the big house. Right. Just switched, just like that. Yes. Okay, but I didn't turn my back on him. Amen. Because uh, he's the one that financed the house in Regency <laughs> like a bank. Right. Wow. Amen. So yeah. things look around. I still remember it. I had breakfast with him this morning. <laughs> Amen. Because if, and, and here's why he helped me. Those of you who don't like to show up at a job, or you know, I'm not hard on men, but you can never have a home. With nine W twos in a year, <laughs> there's certain jobs you can't have. If you're a wino, you can't sell liquor. If you got a weed problem, you can't sell a uh, uh, medical marijuana. <laughs> you're gonna be smoking. Right? Hey, Amen. You feel me? Amen. Why do you get excited? Here we go again. Lions, you can't have nine W-2s and qualify no for no house. Okay? You gotta do a good job. My son doesn't like his job right now, but he's about to build a house. He's going to weather it. A man has to be motivated to stay in something on a temporary to weather it. Oh, oh. There you go. See? Don't, don't, don't pass out. No, you just sign all these papers. It's a whole bunch of paperwork. Am I right, Shelly? Brian, look at it. That's like a novel. Yeah. Sure does. Hold that door. Look at it. Like a novel. All oh, these got my signature and her signature. Okay. Trying to advance my family. Uh, here, here's a copy of the cash here. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah, I don't have no big ties. No, don't worry about it. Uh, in order to, to, to close, don't that say $69,383.97? That's just the close. Mm -hmm. To close. To close. The money had to be in the bank, and it doesn't count because you know I went and bought a Rolls Royce and then decided one and took it back to Chicago. Boo boo boo, and and so so it, that didn't count the other twenty eight thousand. They said no, you took it out too soon, and it ain't been in there long enough. I didn't know, I mean you know, but my point is, my point is, a priest, this ain't luck. Uh, this ain't nine jobs in a year. This ain't getting fired. This ain't getting laid off. This is sticking with something so I can move my family. <laughs> with the law qualify you three for a certain amount of respect. Hello. Okay. Respect. Because you moved your family. All right. Now she's easy to keep because she's 19. Mm -hmm. and, and she had Vandas and, and, and she watched her mother and her dad who are both here who, who like are in heaven. And, and show you what happened yesterday because this is a man, my wife said, well he's an older man. I know the older man ain't moved nothing. Ain't move nothing. Don't don't negate that because of that. Right. Huh? Hello. Well, they said here, hey, amen. So my point is, it's easy to teach. I'm gonna have her front that black dress, every every dress that 
Every color of dress ain't the black one. And this dress, you got so many you don't even, I know. I know you got like that. Anyway, because the, the next generation has to see you as a wife supporting your husband. Amen. See you as a wife looking up to him, not because he talked, because he moved you. He kept his word. Not getting his face. Not frowning. All that's important. Amen. So this Mr. Rosa helped me to move my family, my double the house, went from Raven Oaks to Regency. And this last move was on my own. Yes. Okay? But I didn't forget what he did, even though his, the things have changed. Right. I could have sued him. I lost 106 figures like I never had. Right. And he tried to get me to sue him. Now, now Mo, why would I sue him when I had ever been in that position without him? Took the law, but then it turned around and God blessed me because the place in Scottsdale had water damage, still sold it, and put a nasty check in my account. And he's the one who, who, who told me about this young man. Did not know that the young man's father-in-law was a contractor and I didn't have to pay no commission because he bought my house. <laughs> All right, see, come on. Huh? You reap what you sow. Yeah. Huh? Beautiful. That, that, that is able me to move my family. Mm -hmm. Because this young man moved and kept his word to her parents, Amen. Amen. They said it in church yesterday. A saint got up and wrote them a check for a third of their first payment. Amen. Huh? Oh my God. If a man will make a move, God will get behind that man. Amen. Now I'm in church. What's this got to do for Menorah? Huh? Your eye, your ear, amen, your intuition, your mouth to praise God. Yeah. And while you're praising Him, you're moving forward. We got enough people in church praising God, beating the hell out of the tambourine, it ain't going nowhere. All right. <laughs> but my daddy, my daddy wasn't no good either. Next question. Come on. Come on. Left my mother with three kids, step life. Mm -hmm. I think I was one, my sister was three, the other one was four. And That's all the reason why to do it. That money I gave my son last night to hold it, he'll find out tomorrow. If he needs it, if he doesn't, I'm gonna make my money right back. But if he don't need it, if that's what it takes to hold the house down, some more than what my father did. I'm not supposed to penalize my son because my father wasn't no good. <laughs> We're talking about progress, right? Not just sitting up in church. And you're not moving forward. According to the word of God, your Bible, and that's Thomas Jefferson cut it out, that there is a prophet, not these prophet, greasy, chicken-eating handkerchief heads on TV. There is a prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T, in the earth. For everybody, because remember, faith does not belong to the church. Faith belongs to humanity. Okay? That's right. Come on, moving forward. So we're we on this tonight. The menorah. A man can't move his family forward if he's the, if if he has not observed anything to praise God for. And if he lacks wisdom, the book of James says, ask God. That's right. Okay? Ask God. Uh, when, when I bought the place in Montreal, man, I'm like, man, I didn't jump so far off. <laughs> Beyond what any borrowed man has ever done. Okay? I thought I was doing. I was in the, they told me I didn't qualify. Well, I was already in there furniture. <laughs> Amen. Praising God will take you a long way past your credit score. Amen. Because if God opened up the door for you, can't nobody close it. 
Amen. Matter of fact, I used to correct, reject the letters when I had the stuff sitting in my garage. I sure did. Why can't I help a man? Even this got turned down four times. Mm-hmm. But the fifth time, yes. September the 17th. Yes. Amen. Why, why are you talking about this? Because we, we have to have role models. Yes. Amen. Can't. What happens? You keep making the same mistakes over and over. The wife looks too different. The kids look too different. Your kids admire other men. Your kids looking at other kids with a house and a backyard and whatever. And they don't know what's wrong. Amen. And it's not. Uh, I had a thought. Somebody told me something yesterday. I couldn't even sleep last night. Two hours ago. What are they doing? But there's certain jobs that have no ceiling. If you learn how to, uh, uh, if you learn how to fix heaters in Nebraska, heating and air conditioning. What's it called? HVAC. HVAC. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. I had a right. I had to get a man. Was that this year? Yeah, yeah. He said, sure was. Yeah. <laughs> I, what did I get? I mean, ten thousand dollars, eleven. Cause I had a deal, a freezer. So I went and got the whole thing done. Should have been fifteen thousand. They're like eleven. Okay. So that's a job. So okay. So watch this now, husband and wife, mama on it. So in other words, if you're gonna go to school, say you know what? I gotta advance my family. He. Plumbing, whatever, man, the plumbers make money, y'all. Yeah, they do. Laugh, laugh at no plumbing. Come on, man. Even if you see the plumber crack while he fixing it, he got enough money to get some boxes. <laughs> you don't know he's going to have enough money when you that bill. <laughs> All right? That's that. You don't have that money. So you go to school, go to school so you can... I don't know. How long does that take? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is, if you're trying to advance your family, you get it done. There's no ceiling on that money. Okay? But to sit in church, listen to the same person, can't go forward, make excuses, and then to come. The word compound means extra, right? To compound it with people that enable you. You're looking at a dead end street. All right? And I talked about a jealousy that's right. To have a 19 year old, I got young people, got people moving and doing it. That's just start, it's something as godly jealousy. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, right. Amen. Amen. I, I know, I, and you know what? I get to be the bad guy. I'm in the champion now, or else I wear my signature black. Bad guy clothes, okay? Closet clothes. Right? Huh. But but that's David. David could have just sat there, man dead because of him. But when he saw what God, what the ark did for the house of old Ben Edom, yes. and everybody here wants six times their income, six times whatever. Amen. Because the ark of the covenant. A priest advances his family. What David did, he went and, and, and looked at how to handle the ark on the shoulders, not in the new court. Huh? Saw what it did in that man's house and said, hmm. Yes, gotta have it. I'm careful this time. I'm not going to sit there and marinate in my mistake. No, I'm talking to somebody. I can't sit there. Amen. This is a new day. This is that a lot of men. I'm rejoicing. Be glad. It's a new day. We about to step into a new month. Whatever God promised you, there's still 60 days left. Amen. For it to get done. You should have bust in here with an energy. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Amen. People are coming to church getting blessed. Amen. Amen. People are getting all kind of business ideas. Amen. I got a woman here. She's inside another city.
closest to the contract. Is it everybody? Was it left behind? Ain't like I got a twin brother. It's me, folks. <laughs> Now here's the same person, but I have no I have no control over your three pairs of twos and the fact that you can't open your mouth and express it. That ain't my fault. Oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Bless a man and trust in him. Okay? Let's get second Samuel. Let's move some people forward. Amen. Amen. Just think if David had a wife, she said. First of all, Jake, you should have told David, remember I said yesterday, put him to the side and said, the, the, the Ark of the Covenant don't go in that car, David. Mm -hmm. Put him to the side. Not embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But there you go, back him up again. All right. Okay, well, what's my standard line which I should patent it? Uh, I tell every man, that's why I broke that game, but not game, remember way he up died in a year, up there giggling and stuff. I said, do you want your daughter to marry a man like you? He quit smiling. Well, let me, uh, do you want your son to marry a woman like you? <laughs> and you emasculate your husband, you go off cussing, whatever you do, and then all of a sudden your son, all of a sudden he's, what's wrong? Son? <laughs> she did what? And you took it? I took it because daddy took it. See, I'll be all into your future. I took it because daddy took it. Watch this now. You mean you cheated on her? I cheated on her because daddy, he, he had to get a break from you. Do you want your son to marry a woman like you? That's rough, ain't it? Huh? So you don't emasculate, you don't enable. There's a way to be firm and kind. Mm, there's a way to use your beauty, your banging shape to get, honey, let's go look at home. Let's go look at home. Let's, let's, let's go let's forward. I'm proud of you. Huh? Look how you're advancing. I tell you, I keep easy to teach. Trust me. Hang up because she's a quick learner. Trust me, a year from now, she's going to celebrate being at home. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's scheduled. And the sharpest is, she like to celebrate every year. Amen. Even after they get the mansion later on, because you can't have that kind of woman. Amen. And not have be wealthy and have it. Uh, even. Uh, watch this now. She said, but he just was in, he just in the service. I'm in the service too. <laughs> yeah. That was then. This is now. Amen. 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 You mean to tell me two people with menorahs that go out that don't go out, don't go forward? You crazy. That light that was never supposed to go out. Some people take being married serious. They take, amen, being a husband serious. They take being a wife. Some people get serious. And I'm not talking about frowning and praying for an hour over some french fries. Now they cold. I'm talking about your attitude in the morning. Mmm. You don't have days to waste. Amen. Amen. Even if he makes me mad, the timing is not right today. That's another level. Yeah. The review, which most of y'all don't know if you don't have yeah, the review. Mm, why is it tense in this house? Who said the wrong thing at the right time? That's <laughs> And then you're wrong. You get spiritual. Got the concordance out of your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that don't, that, that's not repentance. No. Your court, a book, your bishop's notes. Bishop said, we apologize. I put on Anita Baker. I apologize. Now what? <laughs> and you know what I think of a man that gets up uh, like a chihuahua barking. Man, folks had much to say in the morning. Good morning, baby. <laughs> gonna make this money. <laughs> now I'm not going out to rob Taco Bell. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going out to shoplift. Be quiet. I'm boosting, baby. <laughs> now, now, 
Amen. Trying to go for it, got to get in that workforce. All kind of crazy single women, all kind of cougars with striped leotards on and stuff. Aggressive cougars. And you waking up looking like a tiller to hun. It's going to be a rough day in the camp. Keep your weave nearby, your wig, whatever. Slap that thing up. Adjust it. Don't wake up there and see something rough. Yeah. Second Samuel. We're going to finish this. Let's see, David. Are you getting her told yet? No. For <laughs> Brandon, yeah. Pick up verse 15. Second Samuel chapter 6. He just so happy. Pick up with him dancing. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the he Lord. He wasn't doing that old church of God in Christ book shouting. Kicking the back of his pants. Say that for your wife. <laughs> Verse 14. And David danced before the Lord. Oh, he's a dancing brother. My, my sister married one of those shouting brothers. And now, he, now he's a man married to another man. <laughs> oh, shouting brother. Don't get me started. <laughs> man. Man, I've been up put on hands. I'm going to quit trying to. Can't even do it. Huh? We'll pray you that. <laughs> but David, dang, he for real danced like a man. You know, his boxes got loose. Read. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. <laughs> and David was girded with a linen ephod. He didn't need, need a leather, but he had linen that day. Read. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord was shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. So everybody but one person was excited. Ain't that crazy? Mm -hmm. David happy because then nobody died. Everybody shout, everybody died. And he brought it up with what? Gladness. Yes. Hey Amen. Okay, I showed you, I wrote the check. She didn't write the check for 69000 whatever. Man, I'm not around my house mad. Man, I could have used that money for something else. No, I couldn't. <laughs> So preach whatever you do. I wish you in the bosses. No, man. No, man, don't talk. Man, don't talk like that. Right. I wish we in the body. We was better off on the fourth floor. And the man above you was smoking dope and dope. The, 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 the. You was getting high, and every time you said that one chair, you was getting high because it was coming through the radio. <laughs> Other people as party animals. You know all the words, a little oozy, little bird, everybody little, you know all the words. He's got a track music on all the time. And now you're in a house. Are you hearing me, priest? No backward step. You rather take the risk implied by faith, Thomas Merton, and advance your family. Amen. With a house note, they sit there making an amen, a rent payment, and they raise it up every year. Amen. Okay. David had me. <laughs> Verse 16. Yeah, Lord, bang, Lord, hello, Earth, Wind, and Fire with him, too. Shout with the sound of the trumpet. Come on, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Verse 16. <laughs> And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping. She's been better off falling out the window. <laughs> yeah. But she looked through the window. Huh. How do you how do you despise look at the menorah? How do you despise a man that walks by faith? How do you despise a man who recovers? from, amen, a horrific incident and gets up and goes and gets it and now is rejoiced. How do you look out the window? Mad at that kind of man. Hmm? The man that gets laid off, what his father cut the hours back, he's like, now I'm going to shovel some snow. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Not Mr. Slick online trying to find something. As though some money going to come online. <laughs> Amen. 
missed that. I'm going to go get us some money legally. Not the connect, not the weed man. Legally. Huh? How many of y'all passed by those bugs? Beautiful day. He out there with a sign. There's McDonald's, there's Applebee's. Hey, Amen, man. And, and you said that. And, and one, one told me about nice car. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She despised him. He was leaping and dancing. See, a woman right this down, women. Some of y'all like, I, I already know this. All right. Write this down. You want to see your husband happy. Amen. He's walking by faith. Excited. Huh? Now, y'all sit in the car, had that, almost had to have Holy Ghost explosion for it to get started. Yeah. You done lay hands on the battery. You got to lay hands on the wheels, everything, huh? And now you got a new car? Honey, I thank you. Oh, look at, look at what God has done for us. It's all right. It ain't the color I wanted. We didn't know what color your other car was. <laughs> Depends on how the light hit. <laughs> Learn how to rejoice when a man has faith. You can't say it enough. Don't let that cougar with the striped leotards <laughs> beat the compliment your man. The one with the eyelash look like seven spiders landing on it. I hope that goes out of style. <laughs> like seven spiders leaped up on their head. <laughs> Verse 17, man, we own something. Verse 17. And they brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in, in its place in the midst of the tabernacle that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings hey, before the Lord. He showed doing a lot of sacrifice and spiritual things without her. You know that he don't even know she in the window looking up. This ain't even about you. This is about me and my God. Because there's no guarantee. Even if you get somebody who's in order, there's no guarantee they're going to stay in order. They might flip on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it happens. I've been doing this half my life. Amen. Uh -huh. So watch this. David is making a sacrifice. You fool around and get some crazy chick mad because you're paying tithes and offering. Now what kind of man you going to be? Man. We need this. David, David said, look, I got a murder on my account because I didn't handle the ark right. Look at him sacrificing. Right. Even though somebody is looking out the window, the person that should be with him is looking out the window mad at him. He ain't missing a step. It's fine. You see, some, some, some churches, hey, man, because they're trying to build their brand, they'll let you emasculate a good man. Not this one. All right, now. I get the detail, once I get the detail, you know, I'm known, I'm in every beauty supply store. I make folk lie to me. I make your stuff in the back lay down like it got jailed, all right? <laughs> your stuff be like that, I make it into baby hairs. Make you lie. Huh? Because the truth is going to come out. You don't emasculate a man. You don't withhold your body and keep clowning on man trying to walk by faith. You don't cuss him out and keep having attitudes and stuff. And he all sad. And then some sister in the church, she getting happy because she knows you out of order. Right, right. Here it comes. Oh, man. Here we go. Look, y'all have a short night tonight. Hey, Amen. I'm not talking about Mr. Lazy. I'm talking about somebody who, who, who I have to advance my family. My kids watching me. I want to get this done in my lifetime. Huh? 
Notice this man, huh? he hustled, man, he they just enjoy the watch. Look at this time he's talking about, I care less. No, no. He's around here prancing. They've been long, together long enough to know each other's fault. Right. Amen. They're around there prancing like two kids. Amen. Hello. <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. That's why we don't have you up front. And you know what? It's called ministry. We'll get a title for you later. I'd rather hear you than old apostle, oh. apostle <laughs> with the <a> T. <laughs> I'm so sick of apostles. <laughs> and 27 button suit wearing prophets mm. cut some of those buttons off <laughs> oh that felt good so look at verse 18. 18 and as soon as David had made an end of offering burnt offerings and peace offerings he blessed the people in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. Of what has this man done to cause this woman to be out of order? What's he done? What's he done? He's a man that got up. Yes. You know what I tell you? The man, your man, you get up the way it's supposed to be. I, I lift up in my house. In my house, after Saturday, Sunday morning, everybody go for themselves. That's why I tell you, don't never have one car. That's an argument ready, getting ready to happen. And multiple cars. If three of them don't start, the fourth one will, all right? Amen. But isn't everybody for themselves? Even if I just say, zip up my girl, all right, hurry up, because I got, I got, I'm on a, I'm on an assignment. She'll get mad. Bam, I'm gone. One time, sometimes she leave before me, but she ain't got that 707 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like five minutes ahead of me, I'm like, is that you? <laughs> Hey, what, what, this is after 40 some years of marriage. On Sunday, everybody for themselves. I got a God to pray for blessing me with something I didn't really qualify for. Amen. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Great if you want to. Not me. <laughs> That's when it gets individual. Amen. This man is so happy. He done blessed him in the name of the Lord. Now he's ready to go home. <laughs> he should have had something waiting for him. I got guests here. Y'all figure it out. <laughs> Y'all figure it out. <laughs> Joseph Trapp. <laughs> But no, he run into help a girl. <laughs> Look at the next verse. And he dealt among all the people, even among the whole multitude of Israel, as well to the women as men, to everyone a cake of bread and a good piece of flesh. Now, not that kind of flesh, really. <laughs> <laughs> and a flagon of wine. With a Morgan David. So all the people departed, everyone so, so, to his so, house. So he, he was feeding everybody. It feeds the women. You know the women, all the women here, he was feeding one ugly. But you don't see where he's coupling off. Right. He's going back to one. Can I help some of you? That's why you'll never accuse your husband. If you about to bid it, you don't care who he was. He wants to be honest, but she ain't you. Right. But I don't know about being honest now. But. <laughs> Well, amen. You know what? Hey, hey, whoever. <laughs> he going home. Did everybody go home? Yep. He wasn't going to Ramada Inn. No. Watch this. I want to be married to a doctor. You're too insecure to be married to a doctor. Anybody got time you'd be sitting in the operating room on a stool? Fuck <laughs> 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 a bleed out. <laughs> Why you gotta touch her there? It's a mastectomy, fool. <laughs> Let somebody else do it. <laughs> Too insecure. Amen. <laughs> Here's one for you. Nobody know lost OJ Simpson. Everybody know he killed that girl. Everybody. Uh -huh. Cause Christopher Darden 
and Miss Clark was having a little affair. And Johnny Cochran said, if it don't fit, you must have quit. And OJ, being the actor he was, put his hand and spread out and act that it go. Because <laughs> Christopher and old girl had an affair. Working 14 and 15 hours on a case. <laughs> See, if Christopher had had a wife, and she, they would have won. Everybody know he did. <laughs> but Johnny Cochran called him flipping. Dang, read the book. He all in love, and, and he oh, they like stay in love. <laughs> He's a free man because of that. <laughs> See, you, you got, okay. <clears throat> he's a linguist. We don't know when he's going to get deployed again. Especially, you got, anybody his job he can't talk about? We got a president that got on TV and talked about what he did to this man. Those people don't, those people want him to die. Yeah. They coming back. Yes, they are. Yes, they, when Obama killed, you didn't see him get up talking about we did this to Ben Laden, right. whatever. Right. Man, you got people homegrown. You better believe it. Now this man him talking about this and whatever. Man, you gonna get somebody killed. If we're gonna snatch your daughter, I bet you unplugged in. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing he loves, his daughter. Right. That's it. Maybe one son, that's it. And not man, ain't talking about Baron either. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. He don't even know his name. But he's gonna talk about all that he did. What, what we did to this man? Man, these people coming back. You know they are. So they interviewed him, man. We saw him. He's like, man, come on. They, they, gonna, they, they have an election to fight. Okay, who's gonna lead us now? So my point is, he has a the job. He can't talk about it. And then he, he has a job where she can't be getting on his nerves. You can tell me I'm your wife. No, he can't. You'll be homeless. Okay. <laughs> Amen. So before you ask for somebody, do you have the faith? Uh -huh. And no time, when the cargo packed up, no time, and I handle my business and got rid of those folks, I stood for somebody who didn't have nothing. And no time did my wife tell me say, you know what, but don't, you we can't lose such and such family because, yeah, we can, and we did. That's why we got that. Because they ain't here no more. Oh, all right, all right, look, look. No, no, don't clap, don't clap. Save your spirits of God real. Don't clap, don't clap. <laughs> Amen. She's going to be talking about, you, you might want to. Uh-uh. Oh, no, no, no. If we build it on truth, we're going to stay on truth. The truth sets people free. Amen. Huh? They're not going to sit there and hem me up because of my lifestyle. Right. And it increase. <laughs> that takes faith. You know how I many people sit in church don't really have any faith? <laughs> now my daughter does. She got to go from contract to contract. Amen. A pastor, excuse me, Pastor Linda has faith. Her son went to a school that comes uh, the price of a Bentley. And she's the one who blessed them. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Watch this now. Her mother had blessed her. Amen. She turned around and blessed her. Lord, have yeah. mercy. Yeah. Amen. Some people operate by principle. Amen. Now, that, that bill for that school is a price of a Bentley. It's 260 something dollars Easy. Yeah, easy. And she gonna sow into a young couple. I say that school loan is finished. Amen. I say it's paid. I got some people here now who pay that school loan. Let them come up. Oh, really? I got some people sitting here right now in class. Let them come up. Today, one of them told me when they come up, they pay it out. No, I didn't post them. This ain't that kind of church. I'm good. What's in their heart? That was in their heart. 
Bate și gară. Boom. Mm -hmm. She went to the priest. Yes. yes. Boom. I want a part of this. Amen. You kept your word. The nice old homeowner. It's a big deal. Yes. Huh? I want a part of this. I want a part of this for pity, for praise. Amen. Right. For baby eyes, for grief. Right. I want a part of this for my Anthony. Amen. I want a part. <laughs> David blessed everybody. Everybody went home. And look at verse 20. Then, now, now he got to go home. Then David returned to bless his house. To, to do what? To bless his Don't house. Don't ever forget that a man wants to bless his house. Before if you see them, before you marry anybody, put their name in a database. There might be one in every state. They might be on the sex offender list. They might not even be a man. They might have won the lottery and had some surgery done. You better put. You better. You better find out. The first time you ask him, we gonna say that he's a man. Right? We gonna take it out for Are you? Can you bless the house? I don't believe women taking care of me. I don't believe. I believe you stay by yourself. Amen. I don't believe your head is like buckwheat. He going to young bloods twice a week. Got all kind of parts and everything else, dreads and. <laughs> Spray paint his head and everything. Amen. <laughs> that man on TV through the NFL game, he older than me. His hair is black as a china. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Come on, Mike. <laughs> I'm believing women taking care of men. Period. Amen. If you take if, if a short period of time that you in school with her, that's not taking care of somebody. That's helping. While you in uh, uh, HVAC school, whatever, plumbing, whatever, that's not taken care of. All right? I had one, all right, Dr. Omar and his wife, uh, she had to work while he had to finish up. He reaping the benefits. Right. Hey, Amen. That's not taken care of. Yo, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah. You old tree pants buying, <laughs> car payment making. <laughs> I wish I would see Shaquita buy somebody some pants on the stupid old tree. She did, she tied around their neck and hang them. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Well, you cannot deal, amen, with being by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, my man said, everybody likes Shelly Bean. Shelly Bean's a cold sister. Amen. amen. I'm going to nickname her Nightquill Shelly Bean. Don't worry for me now that I'm making money, man. We're gonna put you on a we gonna act like you law and order S S U V S D U Amen. I don't I'm making money now. Amen. I'm making money. I done turned down a seventy-five thousand dollar year job and you show up. Oh no, you just can't show up. <laughs> And I'm not teaching you how to enable a man. You do what you do on your own. That ain't my fault. And you ain't got a bit of being mad at me. That's what you do. Amen. 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 All right, you're going to get older. When you get older, you said That's all old age is. You know that? Huh? It's sales dying. And some of us don't mind that our sales are dying because we're about to call the Bacayim. And live life for being older than about us. You get older and you watch people pass you by. Pass you by. See the same church, same role, and they pass you by. Pass you by. Why? Because their application does something to you. Huh? For every excuse you have, somebody else has a word. For every service you miss, somebody else said, uh, not today. I got to hear a word. That's the thing that built my faith up. So faith come by here. Faith don't come by watching TV. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, 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 look at, look, Nandi. Nandi is somewhere in the world. Yeah. Single. Yeah. Traveling. 
cut off family, cousin, everybody. When it comes to God and my life, we ain't related no more. Amen. She's about the most fearless young woman. She's been sick. She's by herself. She's good looking. She ain't Well, all you've been doing is break your heart for her to sell. Miss her nothing. Yeah. Miss her, I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> Miss her, let's go over mama's and get a plate. <laughs> a plate. <laughs> We're going to get a plate this weekend. <laughs> Oh, you think you better because you don't want to sit on the porch and wave at folk. But <laughs> <laughs> you ever ask them to get a, come get a plate. <laughs> <laughs> who you think you are? Somebody who don't want a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Nolly up there in banana trees and swinging, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Been the singer for uh talking about where's Matt Lauer? Somewhere, amen, with another lawsuit. But where's Nandi? <laughs> Whoever married her better have a passport. You better have some stamps in it. <laughs> oh, see what I want to do for you, Nandi. I'm gonna take you to I'm gonna take you to Singapore. Check, please! I've been there. Come on. <laughs> I love it. You know why I love it? She'll never enable somebody. She watched her mother suffer. Somewhere inside of her ain't happening to me. Amen. I'm not going to be afraid of nobody. Do not mistreat me. Do not pass me over. Do not hand me in. Do not turn me in. I'm going to keep moving. If you want this, you got to catch this. Amen. You can't catch what you can't see. You don't know where I'm at. And she's 24 years old. And you still grieve over who broke up with you. Homeroom! Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you left your heart in Monroe Elementary. Every time you pass, you go past Monroe, you about to run into Benson. Because <laughs> you heartbroken. <laughs> 24 years old. She ain't no club with her dress jacked up. Waiting to have Future's next baby. Is that his name? What's that rapper's name? Future. Sierra said, Ain't no future in you. I think I'll give me an NFL quarterback. I think I'll give me a Russell Wilson. Amen. They talked about she was an industry blunt pass around. Well, guess what? She ain't pass around no more. Amen. Uh, back to the Bible. Amen. I'm just having fun tonight. Read. So look, so he's going home to, to bless his household. Verse 20. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David. Should be no tripping with a man who works hard. Should be no tripping. Bills pay and happy to do it. Never get mad about the bill you made. <laughs> This old stupid house payment. You gotta be kidding me. Then now, 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 now she says, that's all right. That's all right, Junior. I'm not a junior you are today. I'll make the house payment. I'll make the house payment for you. You just sit down and you know, but here's this controller, Supreme Sports Center. It's your favorite show. How many did you get right on Jeopardy today? <laughs> Your 
Man, this is live. I see, I thought people would stay home and they did. They like, I want to hear that. <laughs> and Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David. And here's what's left off there with an attitude. But then she opened her mouth and she tried, ooh, this is bad. She tried to extinguish his light. But his light didn't go out. Nope. Can you hear me? His light didn't go out. Some people don't, not going to let your words put their light out. Your attitude put their work, put their light out. And they will have joy and happiness in spite of you. They will turn their music up in spite of you. Amen. They will walk around the house. Amen. Because they were serving God. All you had to do is get along. Amen. Get down with them and serve God. And it would have been peace. But to think I'm going to come home and you're going to take and put my light out. Now David. Come home happy. And you got an attitude. And now I got to tip around. Because he mad. Then I stepped on your big toe. And then I take you to the doctor. <laughs> All right. That don't sound spiritual to me. Read. And said, how glorious was the king of Israel today. Now, now Yolanda, what her eyes saw didn't see the man of God Ear didn't hear him rejoicing, didn't have no intuition that this was a time of celebration. Then she's gonna open her mouth and express. I didn't mean to say it. Yes, you did. You had all these other elements to observe before you opened your mouth and said something. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't see you was tired. You didn't see that the timing was wrong. I gotta say, because my mama always said, that's why she ain't got no doubt. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. yeah. She gonna get him told. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She gonna get him told. I can't rewrite this. Uh, you gonna rewrite when you get home. She's gonna try to get this man told who celebrate. That's why I talk to 19 year olds. Because when I quit talking to you, that's a wrap. You just keep doing what you're doing. Now, if I don't pick up the phone, if I don't answer your email, if I don't pick a message, that is your, that is a, that is an answer. This ain't nothing to play with. First of all, chick, it wasn't even about you, it was about God, his God. He was coming home to bless you. Because a man ain't trying to bless the woman across the street or the woman on the job. He's trying to bless you. Amen. Come on. You ought to thank God. You the one with the last day. He want to bless you. Yeah. 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 They're a smart man. Probably has some gum now, too. Smacking, <laughs> <Magnum>. huh? <laughs> How glorious. Let's say, he is here today. Look at that. Who uncovered himself today in the eyes of the handmaids of himself. As one of the vain, he cussing him out, y'all. As one of the vain fellows shamelessly uncovered himself. Why did he jump out that window with a safety pin? <laughs> Amen. You probably saw him dance with somebody cuter than you. Built better than you. Had real eyelashes on. <laughs> man, man, it's a bad day to be insecure, ain't it? Go ahead, take a deep breath. Get secure real quick. <laughs> Daddy ain't getting insecure. Read. And David said unto Micah. David said, oh. No. You, what, uh, uh, no. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come here, let me get you. I'm sorry. What can I do? What can I do wrong this time? <laughs> <laughs> and you think you want that kind of man. Now you don't. 
Now you're gone. You don't want your son to be that kind of man. I break your heart. Why'd you leave school? Why'd you quit that job? Because she can't come home. Come She's unhappy. Why you what? What? Mm. I thought you were. You was at medical school? She said she, she, she didn't see me on the weekend. And you left school. Oh, you killed her. Because that crazy heifer couldn't see you on the weekend. It's called FaceTime. <laughs> huh? Ain't that some crazy stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to go away to school. But let me tell you, make these there. You stay and go to Metro Tech. That's right. Or go Phoenix online. Yes. Somebody right. else got a ride, got a full ride. Let me tell you, make these there. <laughs> wait till your son, if you mad, wait till your son run into somebody like you. And there go his future. The artist that quits drawing. The singer that quits singing. The engineer who don't want to build nothing no more. And your heart, it's something that you brought home from the hospital. That you built up. And he done laid with somebody who is not his equal. And now she done drank. She done put your baby, your child light out. Now what? <laughs> yeah. Whole new ball game now, ain't it? To hear your child quit. What's the next step? Your child suicidal? Yeah. Your child don't want to live no more. I don't want to live no more because she ain't happy. Oh, man. You'll run to that house. Already trying to fix your hands around her neck. <laughs> my child left my home full of confidence. Right. My child left my home with goals and ambition. My child thought there was no mountain he couldn't climb, no river he couldn't crawl. Amen. My child, amen, had a gleam in his eyes. Now my child is sullen, suicidal, dark, won't come out of his room. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you think you can see that and deal with it. No, you can't. Amen. Amen. Now, David. Not David. Mm -mm. Wrong cat, chick. David got her toe. That's in your Bible. Cut it out when you get home. I'll be watching the game tonight. Cut it out. David said unto Michal. Did he get her straight? Yes. Come here, Hamilton. Let me holler at you for a minute. <laughs> it, was it was before. And, and then he went spiritual on it. Too. That's what I like about it. It was before the Lord. He's going to talk about a dad. We chose me before thy father. You're ragging the dad. That one that when I was fighting the light, he was sitting up under a tree with armor on, couldn't move. So I'm going to put a little bit more to it, amen. Wasn't no, no room in there. Yo, daddy. <laughs> up there all geared up and, 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 and Goliath getting everybody told. Him. Here under a tree. Asking for some lemonade or something. Yo, father. And before all his house. To appoint me, talk David, ruler over the people of the Lord. He doesn't say the Lord twice. He didn't over Israel. Therefore, I will play before the Lord. Three times he invoked the Lord. That. That's not a man you want to mess with. Amen. I'll do it again. Amen. Matter of fact, where am I getting car? Where am I? Where am I in at? Come on. Tell those hell that was dancing with me. I'm covered up now. I got my leather on now. Uh, tell them, meet me back on the street on the block. I'm going to another block party. Amen. And I'm going to feed everybody again. Amen. I'm going to order time out chicken with everybody with some amen. Everybody red Kool-Aid. Amen. We get this thing on and popping. Amen. Hell, you don't know who you talking about. Amen. Time out chicken. Now, David, be careful when you marry David. He ain't playing with you. No. He said, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Right. right. I played before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Should never marry me. You couldn't keep up. Couldn't keep up. Why you acting like you could drive 75 with your, hey, amen, you were stuck on 45? 
You a Chevy Bolt and you want to make land. Can't buy me the same leadership. Huh? <laughs> this ain't, this ain't, uh, it's the difference between a Bentley and a Chrysler 300 with a, with a kid on it. <laughs> you know the difference? Yes. <laughs> and a kid? Big difference. Oh, that, that is like a roll stamp. You ain't never seen a roll stamp up close that. It literally ain't no Chrysler 300. Okay? That's when you don't lie. So called data collectors. There are people jumping in bed before they. Man. Wow. Look at the speed of the kingdom. The speed. Huh? There was no 30 year old that could move as fast as an 18 year old. So we got the 18 year old who can move fast. Right. Amen. Huh? Who smiles freely, who ain't constipated when you laugh, because you've been hurt. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> When the last time you got a full, full 32 teeth laugh? You can't even hear. Everybody know that phony. He got a little 18 year old there at the game. She done took his hat off. She doing her little Becky dances. <laughs> and me and her mama, we sit there. Like, oh, God. oh, God, this is what happened? They ain't married. Act like they sit there like. First one say something, lose. Yeah, see people talk about, they've been together for 50 years, and he's the one who's And it was all hell. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they got this chick told. And most pastors won't, won't talk about it because their wife's wrong. <laughs> You know that, don't you? Hey, my wife right here, she's like, man, he's crazy, y'all. He he's crazy that he is in front of y'all. <laughs> they don't they won't teach that because they're right around. Mm. If she put on my, it better be because I got a, a, a screen. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't bragging. That, that ain't no joke. You understand? How do you think we have so many sissy five men in church? Because they saw men in church be emasculated. Now laugh. Now teach. Teach. Now laugh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so true. I'm, I, you know, I'm kind of mad at that. Here's some of the ribs left. We didn't go out like that. A bit of talking to no devil. And they had no word in it. Should ask up. He got the instructions first. That's in your Bible. He got the instructions. Now I know she was all that. The Hebrew version, she was all that. The servant said, mm, I want one of them. So she had to be all that. We ain't talking about no Magilla Gorilla now. <laughs> but still. <laughs> Look, my son was a ribbon, but still. He had some ribs left. <laughs> okay? <laughs> And verse 22, he just capped it off. Yep. He said, I'll be what? And I will yet be more vile than You thou. thought I got down that last day. <laughs> I'm taking it to the floor this time. <laughs> Man, I'm taking it all the way to the floor. That's right. I'm going to duck walk it, everything. Huh? <laughs> when I come back up, I'm going into the pigment. I'm going to James Brown. I'm going to camel walk. I'm going to slide. I'm going to moonwalk. I'm going to back to the pigment. I'm going to fall on the floor again and do the splits. <laughs> I, first time I did, I was sick. This time I'm going to get funky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? I'm going to wear all that door and off. To play with me. Yes, yeah. I'll be more vile. We think that vile means. Yeah. Nasty. I'm going to get down with it. Mm-hmm. 
That's right. Mm -hmm. And we'll be based. Come on, I'm going to embarrass myself this time in my home site. Yeah. Oh, man, David, you said a little bit more too, didn't you? Yeah. And other maid servants. Mm, well, this part right here, we can't imply no more. <laughs> Which thou hast spoken of, of them shall I be had an eye. David, that's what we got to stop. <laughs> and go back into the New Testament. So I be had an honor. <laughs> Amen. David's mad, y'all. Because he came home to nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let no priest and come on no complaining. I'm talking about the real deal. Who's happy? Who likes to have fun? Did I tell you that at the service? Go have fun. Y'all just be just a giggling and laughing. Amen. Have fun. I mean that. That ain't. I send people home who don't have fun. I'm not look at you in church. You ain't having no fun. I got Brandy here. Her husband's home because they got a dead eye about their house, or whatever. And Brandy, that's my thing. Tell me, shut up. I just tell him, shut up. But uh, Brandy, so he said, I'm home getting the house because she's living because she's pregnant. I said, excellent priest move. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Our schedules collide, and, and, and because I'm still in houses and boo, and I got to be crazy on her job, and hey, uh, what, hey, fuck. Not go home and argue. Go ahead and have some fun. I ain't having church seven days a week. Can't make nobody be saved. Ain't trying to. Have fun. So if you don't laugh, laugh is medicine. My mother had cancer. If she'd have kept laughing, it'd have been better than those synthetic drugs they were giving her. Hard to die when you're laughing. Huh? Look at that Witherspoon man that died. He was for real funny, people. Yeah, he His was. expressions on his bang back. Man, come on now. That yeah. His funny. expressions. <laughs> John Witherspoon. Yes. He was funny. Coordinate. All that man was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Don't you underestimate laughter. Right. Huh? For giggling. If you keep laughing the way y'all laughing, uh, you'll look like this 40 years from now. Amen. The rich man I had breakfast with him, he's, uh, let's say I'm 63, so he's 80. I, when I went home, I said, God, don't let me look like that when I'm 80. And he won't. He won't. You can't stop no clock. I don't let, I, my family crazy, man, I don't let them bother me. I don't give them money, nothing. They don't call me with stuff. They try it. I, I don't have voicemail on purpose. You need to set it up. No, I don't. I'm good. Hmm? I'm protecting the fountain of youth that comes from praise from the manure that's lit. I can't let you put my light out. Amen. I got to marry Ava Joy and the handsome man, the amen. Uh, she said, hold on, she just said, oh, that's what I'm doing. That lets you know I plan on being around, don't it? Amen. amen. Where your laughter? Every time I laugh too much, they get intimidated. You made the wrong person. They like me upset. They said that girl that James Barlow married, I, I want to see him mad. He, he didn't grow up in no mad house. I just want to see him get mad. He didn't grow up in no mad house. Amen. Where the parents went toe to toe and verbal. We had problems, but not, not sitting in front of them where they got to chew. Child look like they're watching a the tennis match. They said, Mama going to swing this time with Daddy. Daddy, look at Mama. Mama got hands. <laughs> Put on Facebook. Yeah. I think 
Baker's girl was boxing her boyfriend. And so they had gloves on, and she was like this. And so he swung on her. And she went, she, pop, pop. she like, ooh, I'm like, you're, you're really boxing. So he was like this. And so she said, ooh, he should have seen what that hip did. He didn't see it. She said, whoa. <laughs> No, I'm saying, I'm going to warn your husband about you. I don't care. I'm going to say, man, I'm going to tell you right now, man, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Don't get him up. Because yeah. he thinks you're going to come like this. Man, when he see you. Don't play with her. Yeah. See, see that little, see? Yeah. In here? Her baby daddy? He want to slap box her with her. <laughs> she got what? Got, oh, so she the tag to me, bro? Got mad, I just gotta keep going. If a person for you marry a man, check out his mom. Check his mom out. <laughs> if, mom, if mom got three or four scars <laughs> that don't look like birthmarks, <laughs> she kind of walk with a little limp. <laughs> He's used to seeing violence. Okay? Mama won some, Mama lost some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hold on. It, 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 it ain't funny. Because then, because then, because then, when you have a disagreement, <laughs> no, I got a sister in this church. She told me they, she want to steal. They, they're not living no more. No, no, no. And, I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't guess who it is because they, they try to act like they was bougie. But she said she want a couple. <laughs> they don't, they don't know, don't be trying to guess either. <laughs> yeah, your wife is real bad, ain't she? He caught it, yeah. No, no, no. They're talking about business for a little gang member come through here and he, he messed over his daughter. And the little gang member got smart. So his wife, the little gang member got smart and said, uh, oh my hood, you know, that little fake stuff. So I had to call him and say, hey, 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 homie. I'm out for a minute. <laughs> stuff you talking about doing? She done did. Okay. And she was in the office. I'm trying to calm her down. Remember that? She huffing and puffing. <laughs> now I was hoping that boy didn't show up. He about to get spiked. That's back when, you know, because somebody would have come out and said, World Star! <laughs> cause, cause, cause he about to get dust. <laughs> she had a what? Little skinny girl with hands. Yep. <laughs> and anger. Yep. And then little boy about to get dusted. Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. You know what? Every, see, 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 and thank God he had a great dad and would never put his hands. It's not the kind of guy. Thank God. But that's, you tell your son, don't you put your hand on a woman. And vice versa, if your son married a crazy woman, you tell that heifer, you put my hand, put the hand on my son. He, he, he didn't see me take no whippings. He never seen this. That's right. I'm going to mess all y'all up. And you ain't going to use no grandchild as hostage. Wow. Wow. You, you don't, you don't, 
That's right. You don't raise your sons. That's why we teach family. That's the beauty of uh, now your husband is black belt. But I guarantee you, if Skyler get a scratch on his face, you be there first. She said, uh-huh. <laughs> and he's a black belt. Right. He's smiling. You better say, keep your belt on. I got this. <laughs> No, because, 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 yeah. and, and that was, then I'm done, but, but that was the thing of, uh, they questioned this man. She ain't gonna get in the street. She ain't getting talked to any kind of way. That's right. man, man, that's real talking. Keep trying to deal with that kind of stuff. You got people sitting there, face swollen, trying to praise God. You ain't got to put a guy with a mouth full of blood. Right. Face swollen, you afraid to leave. He a deacon in the church. He can be a deceased deacon too. You know? That's right. <laughs> no, man, church don't, I mean, the people That's come to right. church get mistreated. Come on, man. Pastor scares his members. Wife run him. Make people stay together. They've been verbally physically. Been, you crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you do stay with somebody abusive because you ain't hear me, and you know, I'm known to ask you, you know, I'm real. Hey, look, I ain't following you home. You tell me when you get tired of this. Right? It's real serious church, ain't it? Yeah. We about yeah. some happiness and some fun. Mm -hmm. Amen. We about the good life. We about praising God, living right, no adultery, no fornication. Amen. Taking vacation trips, buying cars, home boats, airplanes, tricycles. Amen. <laughs> But we show you about you sitting in church miserable waiting for the Lord to come. Okay. And every time you go, we got to see the spiritual. <laughs> see that? <laughs> well, why we got to have a, a, a color purple? Because you waiting for the Lord to come because you miss him. He coming back anyway. Amen. So the end of the story is David like, look, look, kid. Well, I'll tell you what happened. She's gone, y'all. Yes, he and, and, uh, 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 and he, he said, uh, therefore, he wrote short, yeah. therefore, Mikhail, the daughter of Saul, had no child that they ever did. She's gone, y'all. Yeah. You don't mess with no man of God. You don't mess with no man of God. You don't mess with no woman of God. That woman got it because she prayed that dude up out of here. And he got up out of here too. I ain't coming up out of here. I'm coming up out of the world. I'm not, I'll make this stuff up. You're thankful. You're thankful that God has blessed you with a man of God. You're thankful God has blessed you with a woman of God. You're thankful. Are y'all thankful? You're thankful. Amen. No accusations. No, you cheat. Man, that's, that ain't for the church, people. That ain't holiness. Booed up. People having affairs in church. Mm -mm. That's not fair. You do look at somebody's lawn because they got something in their nose. You're trying to get somebody to help them get it up out. <laughs> uh, other than that, hey, man, you, you with who you supposed to be with. Feel me? Yeah. And if you see, <laughs> hey, it's the last Bible class in the month. I'm good. Everybody understand as I close, it is your obligation your eyes, your ears, your nostrils that observe what is your mouth saying? Death and life in the power of the tongue. You keep talking negative, you're going to be suicidal. It's going to affect your health. Every, every, every week on Facebook, somebody's posted somebody I love took their own life. Now people try to say you can commit suicide and make me say impossible. Very silly stuff. Mental health, amen. All of us have had challenges to our sanity because of life, amen? amen. How many of y'all want to thank God for praying? Praise what you do, amen. Praise you. Oh, come on, really, really? Praise what you do.